Hey guys, today I'm out shooting this beautiful covered red bridge that you see behind me. And while I was shooting, I decided that I wanted to make an image that was in focus from front to back. Now, it's not completely possible to do in camera, but thanks to the magic of Lightroom and Photoshop, it's pretty easy. But before you get there, there's something that you need to make sure that you do in the field. You're going to want to focus three images in three different places. So typically you're going to start either at the back and work to the front or start in the front and work to the back. So here we are inside of Lightroom. You can see that I have three images here that are focused in different spots. And you can see that I've already done some editing to this image. Here was the original and here is my edit. So what I'm going to do here to start out is I'm going to go to develop settings by right clicking on the edited image and I'm going to hit copy settings. And then I'm going to select the mask, make sure that is selected and everything else is selected here. I'm not going to select lens blur or anything like that. We're going to worry about the focusing of the subject later and I'm going to hit copy. And then I'm going to select both of those images, develop settings, and I'm going to paste my settings. I just like to edit all of the images here inside of Lightroom first before I focus stack them. Now, right now I have the last of the three images selected. And if I zoom in 200%, the bridge is in focus at 200%. We could back it off to 100 and that looks really, really sharp. So we're zooming in way too much. Now, if I click on the last image, you can definitely see a difference between the focus of the two. The focus is definitely off here. And that is because my focus was on stuff in the foreground, like these rocks. So I focused on the rocks and then in the next image, I focused on the trees. And then in the last image, I focused on the bridge. So we're going to fit it back out here. What we're going to do here is select all three images, right click on them, and then hit edit in open as layers in Photoshop. So I click that and Photoshop is going to open up all three of those images as layers. And it's going to give us the option to bring them together now, or the ability to bring them together now. So we're going to select all three images and then go to edit and then auto align layers. And we're going to use just the standard auto option. And what this is going to do is analyze the images. And if there was any movement of the camera or the tripod, just from hitting the button to snap the shot, or sometimes there's focus breathing where the lens might move in or out depending upon how the focus of the image is selected. It's going to take care of all of that and line the image up. So that is all done. And then we're gonna go up here to edit and then it's just this simple auto blend layers and we're going to stack images and what this is going to do is allow photoshop to go through and create mass based on the focus of the image now this image with water moving is a little bit challenging for photoshop and the reason i say it's a little bit challenging not that it's going to be any more difficult but let's let's turn off this main layer here so this is my merged composite image and then what it does over here we have mass now you can see that there's a lot of uh, let's just do this normally if you had a clear foreground midground and background this would be kind of sectioned in three ways a little bit better but the thing is about this image is that there was trees all along the way and that's why you're getting trees here that are more in focus in another image but this layer here should just mostly be the background the bridge the other thing that's happening is that because i used a slow shutter photoshop is reading the water and trying to focus it the best way that it can. So all of these elements work together to make an image that is going to be pretty tack sharp from back to front and front to back. And that is just 
Awesome. I love that. So we're going to go ahead and save this. And once you do that, it's going to save as a TIFF inside of Lightroom. Now you're ready to export, upload, share, and enjoy. If you found value in this video, let me know down in the comments and let me know if you've tried this technique in the past. We'll see you in the next video.